Outney is a really terrific project. It's, it's been funded by a lot of NIH agencies and also by private industry. And it basically tries to understand what are the best predictors of Alzheimer's disease? What are the best measures of Alzheimer's disease spreading? So if you had a blockbuster Alzheimer's drug, you'd need to have some evidence that it was working. So Adney tries to find the best way of imaging the brain. You know, is it metabolism? Is it activity? Is it physical structure? And so basically, um, Adney is following 800 people. They get uh, scans, uh, spinal taps occasionally, and uh, genomic data collected. And a lot of the questions are, which are the good predictors uh, of uh, brain decline? Which are good measures of whether medications are working? This project's been going for quite a while now, and it's discovered a lot of important markers that tell you whether you're getting better or whether the medications are working. A lot of the work that Adney is allowing us to do is um, build methods that we're going to be using in drug trials. And so one thing that's sort of interesting is that not all the interventions for Alzheimer's disease are drugs. And so there's cardiovascular interventions, there's lifestyle interventions. And some people think, well, just because it's not a drug or a medication, it couldn't be effective. But we know that uh, there's some dietary interventions that are helpful for aging. Uh, there's also um, fitness and exercise programs. It's very important to know which things are best. So we have um, a lot of studies of cardiovascular health in the brain. And um, some of them are very promising. And so we know that if you can walk a little bit every day, I and mean, elderly people can certainly walk, and they might not want to get up and, and get around much more than that. But it really truly saves brain tissue. So often they can be important uh, even before the drugs come to the market. Um, some dietary interventions, people taking vitamin B supplements. We have uh, drug trials that show, um, you know, not just us, but other people, that show that uh, there's some evidence that supplements are useful for the brain. So if you think of a sort of very broad range of things that people could do, imaging is often useful to test whether it's effective. And even if it's only moderately effective, it's, it can often be very practically useful.